What's happening people? It's your boy Bruce Reviews and we're back with another one. Out here today in Shoreditch, we're gonna find out to see if your local chicken shop boss man can go up against the high-end indie burger joints. I'm hungry, let's go! Spicy chicken burger meal, spicy chicken burger, fries, beans, free wings, and obviously you've got to keep it real with the strawberry marinda. Let's start off with the burger, I've got to do it properly. Straight away, first bite in. My, my, my taste buds are tantalizing. Tantalizing taste They're tantalizing. The blood of Jesus covers the chicken. I can feel the spice. The heat's hit my mouth perfectly, the roof of my mouth, my tongue's on fire. Not fire, but it's at a good level. Let's try the chips. Chips, very important. Let's see how they get on. They're not peri peri, but they're banging. Let's test their wings. You know, it's basically, it's basically that. They're good. They are good, but they're boss man wings. I've got to say, Morley surprised me, you know, because. I've always known Morley's to be that dirty little fried chicken shop down in South London, like Brixton Way. This one that we went to in Brick Lane is coming through very nicely. Bossman took a little bit long. It took about at least like what the 25 minutes before chicken burger meal. Chips. I look at them and it looks like like turmeric all over it, right? But the taste, bang. The chicken burger itself, the spices they had on point. The breading was excellent. All sorts of flavors coming through. The wings weren't a letdown, but they weren't. They didn't, they didn't blow me away either. The burger itself was seven and a half out of ten. Standard. Considering you've got three wings, a banging burger, some good ass chips, drink, beans to go with your chips as well. Not bad for five pound. Not bad at all. Now it's time to try out Beyond Burger. So we got the Shoreditch spicy chicken burger. We've got some fries and chicken strips. All of this has come up to thirty quid. So let's eat. Yeah, buddy. Mmm! Mmm! No! No, what? Are you crazy? That is the bang, bang! The bang, bang! I'm gonna have another bite. Jeez. I'm gonna have another bite, because that is beautiful. Look at that! Have a look! Look, have, have a look at the burger. It's beautiful. All the flavours come together so well. Alright, let's try the fries now. Fried them perfectly. It's lacking seasoning. They didn't give me any salt or pepper with it. I didn't ask for it, but you got to season your chips. So I'm lucky that they provided me with some buffalo sauce, just for a pound. Let's see how it goes with that. I don't normally like it when they charge me extra for sauces, but this is some good shit. That is some good buffalo sauce. Time to check out the chicken tenders. They're good, but they're not the bang bang. The thing about these, the seasoning is above average. It, they look better than they taste. I've got to say, they, do, they look a lot better than they taste. The chicken and the honey mustard go really well together, but I don't think I would order this again. Like, it's not something that I would recommend to someone else. About like, oh, you have to get these. You don't have to get these. The fries, you don't have to get, but the burger, you have to get. Burger and beyond. Let's start off with the breakdown of that spicy chicken burger. Beautifully soft toasted brioche buns. A little bit heavy with the oil, but we can let that slide because of the star of the show. <laughs> that fat piece of chicken in the middle, beautifully coated with just perfectly seasoned breading. The flavors were on point, the spice was on point. It was topped off with some nice juicy pickles and house mayo. Overall, the burger, eight and a half out of 10. So that leaves us with the fries and the chicken. The chicken, although it looked glorious, was juicy, really good bit of crunch. The seasoning was frayed, it was lacking. It wasn't the bang bang, basically. And there was a similar situation with the fries. They coated it really well, really good bit of crunch on the outside, soft on the inside, but again, no seasoning, no salt, no pepper, without any buffalo sauce, which was really good, by the way. You wouldn't enjoy them two things together. All right, so Morley's, 
For just over five pounds, we got burger, fries, wings, beans, and a kind of drink. Talk about value for money, these guys have smashed it out of the park. Beyond burger, similar number of items, same kind of stuff, chicken strips, burger, fries, drink, whopping 30 pounds. 30 pounds. What? It's been a real tough one this week. Burger and Beyond has came through with one of the best contenders of a burger that I've ever had. But 30 pounds for everything as a meal, you're asking a bit too much. Maybe if I'm taking someone out trying to impress them, I'll throw up the price. But if I'm trying to get some good quality grub and not enter my wallet out, Morley's is the place to be. Based on that, and I don't believe I'm about to say this right now, but Morley's takes it this week. What? Thanks for watching everyone. Please like, subscribe and share my video. I've been Bruce Reviews. Till next time.